Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Pistol Sniper here, and I'm gonna make this video short and sweet and simple. We finally fixed that HTC One problem that everybody's having. As you can see, we have HTC One M8 here working. It's the exact same one in the last video. All I have is a case on it and uh, some themes. So if we go software information right there, we got Android 6.0. I don't know if you guys can see that, but Android 6.0 on it, so it is working. Um, so thanks to this young fine lady right here, I've been able to fix it. So first, you, what you want to do is go to Fastboot USB. So you want to get your phone into this mode right here and plug it into your computer. That's what will get you the Fastboot USB. So go ahead and plug it into your computer. Once you've done that, it'll show the USB part and it'll be red just like this. Except yours should say. I think it should say unlocked and S off right here. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're having this problem, obviously it's going to be S off and something else. But it should look like this in general. So once you've done that and plugged into your computer, you're going to go to the description of this video and you will find a download link to Mediafire where it will have a file containing these five folders. So it'll have Fastboot, ESP. Uh, fastboot exe htc fastboot ruu.zip a adb.exe and a adb win api d dot dll so all these will be in a ruu zip file just kind of like this one except you're gonna have to extract it i'll have it ruu extract to desktop that will be the name of it and so basically you're gonna extract it and it will be this right here with these files in it so once you have your phone to this screen and you have plugged in and everything you're going to open once you've extracted it you're going to open it hold shift right click let's see okay hold shift right click and then open command window here you don't have to hold shift after that so it'll open a command window just like that should be users and then whatever your username is desktop and then RUU and then it should you should be able to type after that so what you're going to do is make sure your phone's plugged in again I can't urge this enough or else it won't work um, so it'll be fast boot dash bootloader and so that will send it oh, I spelled bootloader wrong loader there we go fast boot bootloader and that will just make sure that it is in fact in this mode so do that no matter what it'll just help um, once you have typed that go ahead hit enter and it'll find your phone it'll reset your phone uh, so your phone might do a little refresh and it'll make sure it's in that mode right there then you are going to type fast boot space OEM space reboot RUU and once it says fastboot space OEM space reboot RUU the RUU is capitalized so make sure it is just like this you're going to click enter again and your phone's going to refresh and it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff you're going to wait till it's done and then you're going to type in HTC, all lowercase, under dash, fast boot, space, flash, space, zip, space, shift, R-U-U, dot, lowercase, Z-I-P. So it'll look just like this, HTC, under dash, fast boot, space, flash, space, zip, space, uppercase r u u dot lowercase z i p and you're going to click enter and it's going to take some time it's going to do its thing it's going to look like it's doing the exact same thing multiple times just trust me leave it alone it'll be doing a whole bunch of script and your phone's going to have a nice little htc logo that's upside down htc logo with a nice little loading bar it's going to take some time to finish, just let it finish. Once it does, it's going to send you into the setup. So, once you do that, 
it's done so I will have everything that you have to type in the description um, so once it's done doing that you're gonna have to type one more thing and that will be I don't know why I closed it so once it's done doing all of its stuff you're gonna have to do a fast boot if I spell fast wrong fast boot space reboot enter and that will reboot it your phone that way it will work so then it will send you to the setup process you will lose all your information in this process but this is the only way to fix it as far as I know um, so thanks for watching uh, again thanks to this fine young lady right here for helping me out and if you guys do not have your phone plugged into the computer when you're trying to do it it will do this and it will say waiting for any device and then you're going to have to plug in your device no matter what so basically you can't go on without not plugging in your device and the first step will make sure you're in this so basically it's foolproof really so thank you guys for watching give this video a thumbs up if it helped a thumbs down if it did not help if it did not help leave a comment and I will try to help you this file right here will be in the description so download that along with everything that you need to type in the command prompt so thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time